pitch coming. The George Ranch High School baseball team was in uncharted territory this past season, reaching their first state semifinal in school history. The Longhorns also had another first, a female that pitched in the bullpen for the George Ranch varsity. Now, if you're thinking this is some kind of publicity stunt, think again. Hudek is a left-handed pitcher who has topped 80 miles per hour on the radar gun. She throws strikes with great command of her pitches. I throw a fastball, change of curve, and I consist like upper 70s. I've touched 80. Like I just stay consistent around there. I just use try to I mix up pitches to off balance the hitters. I know I'm not going to overpower a hitter, so I have to take advantage of having precision of the plate and being able to move the ball in and out, back and forward, keeping them off balance. Oh, it's fun to catch. She's always attacking the strike zone, three pitches for a strike, and she mixes it up real well. And she takes advantage of guys' big egos when they come up there. She's a competitor. I mean, she's going to get out there and give everything she's got. And that's the thing, she earned her spot. You know, there, there, there was no doubt about it. Sarah earned her spot on varsity this past year. So how did that sit with her male teammates, you ask? Well, let's just say you earn respect on the field, and most of these guys have been playing baseball with her for years. She's just like another player. She's fun to be around. I've known her for a long time since I was in Little League. She was on JV with me last year. She's been on the same team with me throughout all high school and one of my good friends and I don't know, she's just like one of us. No, nothing's different, you know, so she blends right in with all of us. We've played with her since we were seven years old, so it's really something we've just had our whole lives. She's another one of the guys out there, basically. They're just really accepting of it and I'm just happy that people are just so ex accepting of it because if it was just, if I was around people that were negative about it, it just wouldn't, the experience just wouldn't be as fun at all. Now, if the name Hudek sounds familiar, it should. Sarah's father is John Hudek, who pitched six years in the big leagues, including three with the Astros in the mid-90s, where he reached the Major League All-Star game. His 17-year-old daughter has big aspirations to pitch at the next level. I'm just very grateful just to have someone that has so much baseball knowledge, to have that in the same home as me, and just be able to ask him questions about anything, like it's on my mind, just pick his brain, just take advantage of the opportunity of having an ex-pro player living in the same home as you. Just be able to talk to him after the game about how, like what I did on like mechanical wise and just what to work on. Like go back and look at tape to see what I need to work on to get better. Sarah struck out 11 batters in 11 innings of work in 2014 with an ERA of 2.25. Hudek pitched in a regional quarterfinal playoff matchup against Goose Creek Memorial with the game in the balance. She retired all five batters she faced to earn the save in an extra innings victory and was greeted by the fans with chants of Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. It was just very nerve-wracking. I was glad I have a great, one of the best state's best defenses behind me throughout that whole situation. Well, I put her in a tight spot, and uh, but you know that's I have confidence in her. You know she she throws strikes. Last year, Sarah Hudek was on the junior varsity. This year, she's in the bullpen as a relief pitcher for the varsity squad, but next year plans to have even more of an impact on this team because there's quite a few seniors leaving George Ranch. Having the seniors, their experience, just be able to ask them questions about scenarios and stuff like that, be able to watch the vets go out there and play their game, just take notes from that, and next year just come around and do the same thing. She's going to spot, come in, you know, situational stuff as far as the mound. You know, next year we'll see. You know, she, you know, she's going to be, you know, more of a factor in there because I'm losing some guys, and so she's going to have to step up and help up. Besides winning a state title, Sarah has immediate goals of making the U.S. Women's National Baseball Team. Tryouts are in August with a trip to Japan on the line for international play. Sarah is going to get a shot at the outfield position for Team USA. For U.S. USA Baseball as women's national team, they have a World Cup every every other year and they've been trying to make it to the Olympics. Like this year in September, there's a World Cup. It's gonna be in Japan in September. August is the trials, and if I make the team from there, I'll go straight from there to Japan. For 17-year-old Sarah Hudek, the sky is the limit. The path she has created for other girls who have their own field of dreams is an opportunity to equal the playing field. She's thankful that the University Interscholastic League, which is the governing body of public high school athletics in Texas, has given her a chance to prove she belongs. She has already proved it to her male teammates, coaches, and the fans of George Ranch High School. The stage will undoubtedly get bigger for Sarah as she continues to play baseball. Now with more experience under her belt, wearing a gold medal with both her national team and George Ranch High School is not only a possibility, but a reality. Go out there and show everyone I can compete at the next level. She's always had that passion for baseball, and uh, you know she's, she's living out her dream, and she continues to work hard to get better. In Houston, Jeff Power, High School Spotlight.